So he's got a splintered glass that makes tapestries from the junk that's on your rug. And under her lid is a glistening In step 18, it's time to pick up a ball. First of all, you have to get the right size of a ball. Players at 10U and younger will use an 11-inch softball, while the older girls will use a 12-inch ball. If you're starting with a very young player, a baseball might be a good place to start. Next, you take the ball and draw a stripe on the ball, or you can use some tape so that as the ball rotates in a four seam rotation, the stripe is a solid line, which means that the properly drawn line will cross the seam four times as opposed to only crossing it twice. Now the grip of the ball is also quite important for effective pitching. Find the letter C in the shape of the seam. Place three fingers so that the pads of the fingers rest just beyond the seam so that the pitcher can feel both the skin of the ball and the seam. The middle finger should be directly on the line that you've drawn on the ball. The pointer and the index finger should be slightly separated from the middle finger. Now the thumb needs to be in a position that is both comfortable and can keep the ball in place. It does not need to extend all the way down to the line. And in fact, doing so will create some stress in the forearm. And anytime you've got stress, that slows down the ultimate pitch. The little finger rests comfortably on the side of the ball. The ball should be held with the tips of the fingers as opposed to into the entire hand. If the pitcher's hand is not big enough to do that, make sure that there is at least some space between the ball and the part of the hand between the, the thumb and the pointer finger. The grip should be relaxed. It should not be a, a locking grip. If the ball happens to slip out of her hand while doing some drills, that's fine. It's better than gripping the ball so hard that it never slips out. Now that you've got a nice relaxed grip on the ball, pull your right arm up so that the upper arm is parallel with the ground. And then the forearm is pulled back slightly so that the hand is about halfway between the shoulder and the elbow. Hold the hand so it faces the sky. Okay, now gently toss the ball straight up in the air. Pull the fingers through under the ball so that it spins as rapidly as possible. Now the ball should spin so that the stripe is a solid line. Keep practicing this step until it does that. Now the wrist will snap closed, but this is much more about the fingers than the wrist. Basically, the wrist snaps because of the momentum of the fingers. Cozy only wants to fly And dancing is as close as she can come Whoa